job is done And everybody thinks she should But neither good nor evil forces could She won't rest until she thinks she's won There's nothing worse than women's hate A stronger force the world dare not create Something frightly dog. They came this way, didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah, they came this way. They never acted this way before. Hello! Hello there! Hello! There's nobody there. What do you mean nobody? I just saw somebody moving about inside there. You probably saw Mina. Mina? What is Mina? Not what? Who? All right. Who is Mina? Mina was the lady of the house. Was? <laughs> I just saw her. Mina has been dead and buried about a year now. A year now? Dead? I should have been a conductor. <laughs> Quite right, sir. Well, to you and Trisha, long and happy life. And many children. Thank you very much, sir. And Bernard, don't let me wait too long. I want to see my grandchildren. <laughs> of course you'll see them.
sorry, I can't accept that, sir. What's wrong with it? Just what I said, I can't accept it. But it's a perfectly good piece of property in a very nice neighborhood. The sort of environment I'd love my grandchildren to grow up in, you know. Mr. Grandison, when I asked Trisha to marry me, it wasn't for your money or for your property. In fact, I told her that we'd have to live on what I earn. Then I'll have to give it to Trisha. I can't stop you doing that, sir, but I won't be living there. No, Trisha did say you were a stubborn one, but I never quite realized how much. What about your ex-wife and daughter? Don't you have to support them? My ex-wife works. I have to pay $200 a month maintenance for my daughter, but if you don't mind me saying this, it's my responsibility, sir. And does uh, Trisha and your daughter get along well? They've never met. Don't you think it's about time they do? Well, I was thinking when we came back from the honeymoon. Well, why put it off? Why did you choose such a way out place for the honeymoon? Mr. Grandison, basically, I'm a country boy at heart. I want to wake up in the morning, listen to the sounds of the birds, the babbling of the river. But most of all, I want to be alone with Trisha. That's just the sort of holiday I would love to use right now. Ah, but can't leave the business. Ah, that must be Trisha now. such expensive gifts, Trisha? Not to show my appreciation. Mm, there are lots of other ways to do that. Mm, I know. And I'll show you all of them tomorrow. <laughs> Did Dad tell you about the house at Goodwood Park? Yes. Oh, you'd love it. It's such a nice house. There's a lawn and a playroom and everything. I told him I'm not taking it. Not taking it? What do you mean? I'm not in the habit of accepting handouts, Trisha. It's not a handout, Brennan. It's a gift from your father-in-law. Come on, you can't refuse to take a gift from your father-in-law. Trisha, when I asked you to get married, everyone said I wanted to marry you for your father's property. Taking that house will only be confirming it. Oh, forget what people say. Oh, mustn't bother about that, Vernon. We grandisters never take on what people say. I'll tell Dad you changed your mind. He'll be so upset if you refused. And it's such a nice house. Besides, it's already in our name, so... We discuss it in our honeymoon? Erlen, I've been compromising with you since the beginning of the relationship. Look at the honeymoon. I wanted to go to Bermuda. You wanted to go to some place in the bush. I wanted a big wedding. You wanted a small thing at the JP's office. Can't you compromise with once? We have a week to discuss it. Okay. Not that I think there's anything to discuss. Trish. Mm -hmm. Listen. There's someone I'd like you to meet today.
Well, you'll have to meet her sooner or later. This is Trisha. Trisha, Brenda, my ex-wife. How do you do? Delighted. I came to see Faye. She's inside. Won't you come in? Still come and see you on weekends, eh? And holidays? You still spend weekends with me? No, Daddy, no! Oh, Faye, darling. Oh, Faye, darling. I, I hate you! I hate both of you! Faye! I'm sorry. I don't know what got into her. I know. Goodbye, Brenda. Goodbye, Vernon. I hope it works for you this time. Oh, it will. Well, goodbye, Brenda. It was a pleasure meeting you. The old wife meets the new, just like you, Vernon. That was a, a natural reaction to expect from Faye. She thinks I got between her mother and father. Brenda and I knew that was over long ago. Faye didn't, did she? 